Congressman George Fallon on 9 well, I put Bill in on this if he's not briefing, and you, you take yeah, it. Yes, sir. Will do. Just a moment. Mr. President? Yes, George. Uh, on this uh, uh, bill that we, we were supposed to take up in executive session this morning. How's your cold, George? They told me you've been out a couple of days. Yeah, well, I still have it, but I'm uh, operating on open. <laughs> uh, we've had a meeting of the... Uh, our Democratic committee, we got the votes to pass anything uh, that we might, might want to bring out. But they tell me that uh, that the boys are kind of surrounding the some parts of Congressional. These billboard boys are in pretty heavy. Uh, you appeal to many? Mr. President, they're not, they're not making any headway with any members of our committee. That's good. They've That's been good. They've been on it for a couple of weeks, so that doesn't make much difference what they do in the next day or so. But I can say this. Well, it does on your 21-day rule, George. Yeah, we have an agreement, though. I mean, uh, we had discussed the thing, and most of the members on our side agree that if we could uh, study the uh, Senate bill, which we haven't been able to do, we, our staff and our members have been looking over it all morning since we have it, and it's just, uh, unless we get the Senate bill, there's nothing we can do intelligently on it. Now, if we lose this morning, I thought we had an agreement pretty well. We went over with the House before we even went to see the Senate of uh, what we were going to try to do. And I had Bill Moyer come up and talk to your staff for three days up there. Right. Uh, he's been meeting, I uh, was talking to the individual members and to your staff people and uh, to Klusinski and the subcommittee group. And we took what we agreed on with your people over to the Senate and the Senate uh, uh, amended their bill and put it in with the understanding that you all would uh, uh, try to take the Senate bill so that uh, 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 we would have no disparity between them. Now, we will, we will do that as soon as we get in the record this morning. Well, we can't, it's not before us, and we can't make a, a uh, the staff can't uh, intelligently to present these amendments uh, to the committee. Uh, the way they appear in the congressional record. So that we're waiting for a, a bill from the Senate of which we will get at noon and have the staff study it and our members study it so that we can come up with an intelligent bill. What will be the difference with the bill you get at 12 o'clock printed on white paper with a number on it and the bill that's printed last night in the congressional record, the identical language? Only because we can't understand uh, what the amendments are as they appear in the Senate and in the in the record. And we're having a caucus in about 15 minutes with our de whole Democratic side to discuss this uh, uh, of what we know about the Senate amendments. We're trying to get our staff now to uh, go through them and see what the changes are as far as the House bill is concerned, so that we can present them to the committee. As it stands now, the only people that have amendments to offer are the Republicans, and they have 22 amendments. And they will, well, we'll be here till Sunday night to listen to their amendments. Well, we want to come in on Monday with a bill. We'll take the Senate bill in toto with a very few minor changes because I don't think some of them, uh, and I say this with all due respect to the Senate, that some of the uh, uh, amendments that were offered, we don't even understand and we can't get an understanding from the uh, Senate record. So that we, we thought that uh, we could get this bill on Monday, we could pass it probably Monday or Tuesday, and because uh, we have the votes to do it. As it is now, our membership can't, un we, our uh, staff don't understand the uh, action of the Senate, and certainly we, can, we don't. So that uh, it's almost unanimous with the uh, Democrat side that we wait till we get the Senate bill, study it, bring it out, and pass it, substitute for the House bill. But yes, 
I thought you'd gone. I am. I'm so damn shocked that uh, that uh, you take that kind of position that I just ca I can't believe I'm talking to my Democratic chairman. Well, uh, Mr. President, I have taken the consensus, not only my own thoughts, but the consensus of, uh, of uh, uh, the ranking members of our committee. Well, I can't do anything about it. If, if that's what you as leader, if that's the best you can deliver and produce, uh, 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 that's Kramer's line, that's the billboard line, that's what they want. No, I don't think we're going to be subject to any billboard line on it, Mr. I have been for three months around here. You'd be surprised at the strange faces I see and I run into every day. And I think that uh, when you delay it over to next week, you've got to get a 21-day rule that you have just sent it to the graveyard. Well, I, don't, I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think so. I would, and I've had a little experience up there. Uh, I thought you ought to have had to bail out a month ago. I don't know why the hell you've uh, 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 waited, but you all got a lot of bills, and if you treat mine that way, why, well, not anything I can do about it. Well, uh, we've passed you everything. You have to uh, take it, but uh, uh, we'll, we'll, try to, uh, we'll try to understand it. And not, I can't make you do it. I just think your committee ought to report the Senate bill this morning like we all understood you were going to do. Report the Senate bill this morning? Yes, sir. Well, that'd be impossible to do that. I think it would be, too, in the way you hear it, but that's what we all talked about. We've briefed everybody on your staff. We've gone over your staff. We've gone over the individual members. We've had meeting after meeting after meeting, and uh, uh, I understood that Kramer didn't want last night. He wouldn't even well, attend the well, meeting, but I don't know why y'all, the Democratic Committee, can't get together and report a Democratic bill. The only thing that Kramer does out for our committee is uh, delaying action, but he never wins. That's what we're doing now. We're going over to next week. He doesn't, he doesn't win. Have you figured out your 21 days when you go over next week? You put us up in November. Oh, no. Well, that, that, that I think. Uh, and have you to figured that out? Uh, the Senate bill has not been referred to as yet. We can't even consider it. We don't have to have it referred to you. We have referred it to you a week ago. Line by line, word by word, amendment by amendment. Bill Moyer's gone over it with your people. Not the amendment that the Senate agreed to yesterday. Exactly. That's where they came from. Well, I understand that there's some more amendments that, uh, that the administration wants to offer to the bill that we don't know about. Well, the, the administration's available to you every minute. They'll give you any information you want. If you all will just meet with them and let them come in and uh, take action. But if you go over next week now, they tell me then you have to wait till the fourth Monday, and then it's a, uh, uh, your 21-day rule. You'll be way back to the latter part of October, and you won't get it up this session. Well, I, I think we could get it out this session. Well, uh, you just check it now and see. Because the, the head billboard lobbyist told us, frankly, last night, that if he could get two more days, he'd have the thing dead. And I think he will have. Well, I can, I can tell you this, we can't get the bill that we're talking about now uh, past the House, but if you let us refine it and bring them in an intelligent bill, uh, like we've always done from this committee, I certainly think we can pass it without any difficulty. I would like you all to bring any bill out that serves the public interest if you bring it out, but this is, uh, this is September and it's been before your committee since last spring. Well, uh, June, July, August, September. Well, I understand that, but we've had a lot of other business before today. Yeah, I know it. I know it, and they're going to have a lot of delay on this one. But, uh, uh, okay, George, you just uh, you make your own bed, and we'll play with each other best we can. But I think it, you're screwing me good, and I want you to know that I know it. Okay. I, I'm like the country girl. I feel it. You do? <laughs> oh, Mr. President, I'm going to talk to the committee again. Now, the Senate bill is in the record. Your people know what it is. Uh, we have to vote with the other crowd. Uh, no use postponing it. Just stand up like a man and say, hell, I, I belong to them. Or if you want to vote with us, then move to adopt the Senate bill, report it out. We file a 21-day notice, and then we separate the men from the boys. It's that simple the way I see it. Well, uh, uh, I, I, I'm right here with uh, two of our best, three or four of our best men, and uh, they all feel the same as I do about it. Who are you with, George? Jones and uh, uh, Blapik and uh, the chairman of the subcommittee. Uh, and, uh, I'm, not, I'm sorry, Clutch, uh, uh, Krasinski feels that way about it because I thought that he was, uh, he, he had agreed with us that he'd report this bill. 
And I'm sorry that Blatnick feels that way about it, but... Uh, there hasn't been anybody I know that wants to get this bill out and pass as quick as Johnny B. Wilson. Not for that. Why in the hell don't you do it then? Well, what we're... I get excuses and reasons as to why. That's what we're trying to do, and... and... Well, just take the Senate bill, move, substitute it for the House bill, ask it be reported to calendar, call the eyes and nose. That's the way to do it. You just can't do it until we get the Senate bill. But it's right in the record this morning. You know, under a parliamentary situation, we can't get it until it's referred to. Parliamentary situation, all you got to do is take the page out of the record and say, I offer this to substitute for the House bill. I've had a slight amount of parliamentary experience right. in my younger days. Yeah, well, I know you have. You had a lot of it. Well, don't give me that stuff about having to wait for a bill to be messaged over. Well, in the, even in the record, uh, the uh, one paragraph uh, uh, names an amendment, one, uh, one number, and then when you refer to it again, it's got a different number, and, and we just can't make heads or tails out of, out of the record. Well, uh, I think we that you'd make heads or tails out of it if you delay it, because that'll put us over where we can't pass it this session. And, Y'all do whatever you best you can, George. You man, I got to rely on. And President, we're going to take hey, chairman. If you can't pee a drop, well, I'm uh, uh, I'm in trouble anyway. But the bill's in the record, and I can read. And if I had a pocket knife, I'd cut it out and offer it as a substitute for the House bill, well, and move the previous question on it and call the roll. I'll take it up with. Uh, we're going into caucus and the Democratic caucus in a few minutes, and I'm going to give them that message, Mr. President. Okay. okay. All right.